But you would notice if someone else showed up in my outfit, wouldn't you? Um... I don't know. I'll grind them into dust. Oh, come on. Just die already. More of you come to die? I'll grind them into dust. What a goddamn pain. Come on. Just die already. It's proof we're getting closer to your world. Well, ain't that just a kick in the teeth? <laughs> Are you imitating your old man, kiddo? I don't know. Am I? This is the fourth Scarecrow, and the last. Let's see what happens to the thief and the princess. Mm.
A lonely wind dances through the nighttime city. In fortune teller's garb, the princess follows the sailor boy and her lady in waiting, who is still disguised as herself. She orders her guards to kill the sailor. For what meaning has his life if he does not see her for who she truly is? She thinks back on the day they first met. He spun a magical tale of traveling the world. From the day of her birth, the princess has been bound to the stone that is her kingdom. But the boy came to speak with her countless times, eventually setting her heart aflame. She had so desperately wished to fly to freedom with him. But now her heart lays in ashes. She has been betrayed, undone. It has been a long time since she smelled the salt of the sea. The beach is unnaturally quiet, the sand darkened with blood. What awaits the princess is a truth she can scarcely believe. The sailor boy is protecting her disguised lady-in-waiting. The boy risks his life to protect a false princess, yet the true one sees it as a fruitless act. scream echoes only in her mind. Let's get this slaughter show on the road. That all you got? What a goddamn pain. As the battle in the bay continues, dawn encroaches on the territory of night. When sun and moon meet in the sky, they point their blades at one another. Princess. You know nothing of the princess. You do not see her true self. Nonsense. I'm the only one who can make her smile. Don't stand in the way of our freedom. Why? I wanted you to look at me and only me, yet my wish never came true. Why?
At the end of the battle, the sailor boy falls unconscious, steadfast, in his decision to stay with the princess to the bitter end. Though the princess finds her will to live fading, one last idea comes to her. She will set to sea with the boy, and they will slip the mortal coil as one. The sea glimmers in the morning light, a silent watcher as sailor and princess cross its waters. Here, the kingdom cannot reach them. Here, a girl is not bound to her royal status. As the sailor awakens, his expression twists into one of hatred. No one had ever seen the princess for who she truly is. She has been destined to forever be a symbol. Yet before her stands a mere boy who only wanted the princess's smile for himself. We... We... Tangled in an ironic embrace, we sink into the sunless depths. I stare at her with pure hate as the moonlight washes over us. I smile then, for he is finally looking at me, and only me. Their brief meeting ultimately brought them here. My wish is granted at long last, and I take it with me. Into, Into the, the depths, depths of, of the, the cold, cold, cold sea. sea. And that takes care of that. Boy, we're really running out of time here. When the four suns, no, no the four keys come together. <sighs> Hina. Oh, what should I do? Oops, time to focus. Both of their wishes came true in the end. But in such a sad way. Mm. Nice job, kiddo. Oh, you worked real hard. This is the last soul fragment. All the pieces are in place for you to fix the broken sun. Now let's get going. The sun is powerful enough to grant wishes. That's what you said, right? Yep, sure is. Yes, 
we keep going this way. Say, kiddo, if someone else had to get hurt in the process of achieving your goal, would you still do it? That came out of nowhere. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I'm not even sure there's a right answer to that. We have my own past. <laughs> Wishes always come with a price. Are you sure? You're ready. A girl hurries through a darkened city to her job. Her life with her father, as well as the lives of countless others, hang delicately in the balance. No matter how disheartened she may be, she bears the weight of her sins alone. All for the small, fragile happiness she has with her father. Graduation season soon approaches the Metropolitan High School. Echoes of excited students fill the after-school hallways. Summoned by her homeroom teacher, the girl makes her way to the faculty room. The students' unusual murmurs cause unease to swell in her chest like a wave. As she announces herself, the teachers turn as one to look at her. She makes her way through the uncomfortable atmosphere as quietly as possible. Her teachers used to await each of her tests with the pride of heightened expectations. But now they merely stare at her with disappointment. His words drop like a stone. They received a report that she has been selling drugs in the city. As a result, her offer to join an upstanding company after graduation has been rescinded. And, as if adding insult to injury, she hears that she is to be suspended. Once the scolding is done, the girl wanders out of the office in a daze. All of her hard work has blown away like chaff in the wind. And horrible rumors are now racing through the school hallways like wildfire. She has nothing left but sorrow and despair, and so she gives herself over to them.
An inky sun rises in her heart. She walks on, guided by its dismal light. Cruel words swirl and eddy all about, forming a swift denial of her entire life. Unable to bear the strife in her heart, she finally stops running. She remembers what she and her father said to one another when she was young. Even when her mother scolded her. Even when she fought with her brother. Her father had always been on her side. After a moment, she begins to walk once more. She walks so she might stay with her beloved father and smile at him like the sun. All that awaits her outside of the school is the endless, worried path home. By the time she makes up her mind to tell her father the truth, the sun has long since vanished. Their house is quiet as a grave. Believing her father to be asleep, she whispers, I'm home. After a moment, she gropes for the light. What she sees is beyond her worst nightmares. The empty shell of her father swings slowly in the gloom. His hollow eyes, worn down by this painful reality, stare upon his only daughter. Her heart tears apart and shatters in her chest. Her last ray of sunlight flickers and dies. 
And as tears begin to form around the corner of her eyes, she finds herself tumbling into an endless dark. If only she was never here. If only... <sighs> I did... Everything I could. I tried my best at school and work, no matter how hard things got. All so I could see Dad smile again. So then why? Why me? Hina. Let's keep going. Once you repair the sun, you can do the same with your past. It's time for you to fulfill the purpose of your journey.